All right, our first step is to actually create the plugin file. We're going to create it in WP Content Plugins. And I've already created a blank file here, which is called myplugin.php. And here it is. And WordPress plugins are just PHP files, so we're going to start with opening and closing PHP tags. Um, we need to be careful not to have any blank space before the opening PHP tag or any blank space after the closing tag. Uh, blank space in either of these areas will give us headers already sent errors. The only thing that WordPress requires of a plugin is a comment block up at the top with plugin name and some value. We're going to call this my plugin. All right, I just saved that. If we go to the WordPress plugin management screen and hit refresh, my plugin shows up. It doesn't have a link, doesn't have a version number or an author or anything like that, but we can activate it. We're getting by with a bare minimum here. All right, and back to the front page of the blog. Refreshing, refreshing, nothing's happening, which is good. It means we have no errors, basically. All right, now we actually need to make this do something. So let's look at the front page here. I have the word foo highlighted. And uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of write a plugin that will switch out all instances of foo with the word bar. So let's write a function that does that in PHP. All right, function, my function. We're going to pass some text to this. And we're going to replace foo with bar in that text and then we're going to return the text. Now that's all fine and dandy, but WordPress doesn't know about this function. We need a way to tell WordPress, hey, use this function to filter the text of the posts. And we're going to do an add filter call. And we need the first parameter we need to pass is the WordPress hook we're going to use. And the hook in this case is the content. And the second parameter is the function that we want to use, which is our function we just created, my function. Now I save that, and basically WordPress sees this add filter. It says, all right, you want to put a filter of my function on the content. So anytime it echoes out the content, uh, it's going to pass that text through our function before it echoes it out to the browser. And this is the front page, and here's the word foo that we're going to replace, and it's now become bar. So that works, but we notice that up in the title we have the word foo again, and that was not replaced. And that's because WordPress uses a different filter for the title. So we already have the function here that does the, the foo to bar replacement, so we just need to add another filter. Uh, the title, actually, this time and passing it my function. All right, so now it should be making that change in uh, the content as well as the title. So now we refresh and it worked, so now it's working. Now the last thing we need to do to give this a little bit of polish is add some more values up here in this comment block since it looks kind of ugly in the plugin management screen. So I have some values I created ahead of time, pasting them in. We have plugin name, food to the bar, version. I like to call my first iteration of things 0 0.1. We have a plugin uh, URI. This could uh, point to information about the plugin. Uh, description, what it does. Actually, let me add something here. Replaces foo with bar in post content and post title author name. There's the link to the author URI. We hit save and it's still working. And if we go to the plugin management screen and refresh, there it looks nice. Now we have the plugin name, a link to it, visit plugin homepage, version, a description, visit author homepage. So we're done. That's your first WordPress plugin.